Hey, what's up everyone? My name's Lionel and I'm your host for LT Productions and you're watching I Watch You Watch. Uh, we are covering Power Ghost Book 2. This is Season 4, Episode 7. Uh, they did promote that there are two more episodes before the finale. I don't know if the finale is the ninth episode or the 10th episode, if, if there's a 10th episode or not. But however, I appreciate everyone for coming to my channel. Uh, please support this channel by liking this video and also uh, subscribing to my channel if you are not a subscriber as of yet and you can leave your comments below. All right, we're going to get into this because I have low battery power, unfortunately, and I feel a type of way about where the series is going and maybe we'll just have a chit chat if I can get through everything that happened in this episode. Let's get into it. All right, so. We start the episode with Diana waking up in the, in the hospital. Tariq is there with her, and we find out that the child is gone. Um, Tariq is like, I'm gonna take care of you. I'm sorry for what happened. And Diana was like, take care of me? <laughs> you <laughs> are the reason that this is even going on. Well, she didn't try to blame her, but you said that you were gonna take care of me, and now I'm in this mess, and now my baby's gone. Get the F out. Tariq leaves, and he sees Monet coming to the hospital, or coming in, going to her room. They chit chat, he tells her that, she lost the baby and Tariq says you know I'm gonna go do what I promised that I would do and Monet says you know thank you for coming and doing what you did but this is a family matter don't get involved oh this is a this is family business that's what she said and Tariq was like you know that was my baby also <laughs> and with all due respect Monet I don't work for you anymore and then he walks off and leaves Monet goes into the hospital room where Diana is at um, she comforts her how she can do it uh, calls her baby girl and all that good stuff and she asked Diana who did this and she said it was that B Felicia Kane was coming in and he's like who's Felicia and Monet is like don't you have some work to do for Noma uh, um, they kind of have a little back and forth a little a mild back and forth and Kane looks at Diana and says when she F's this up call me so Kane leaves and Diana was like mom he was just trying to help and Monet says I know I don't want him getting caught up in this whole Carter ish um Davis and Tariq. Tariq calls Davis and says that he needs a list of the officers and the addresses uh, of Carter's uh, task force. And Davis is like, why do you need all that? Um, I, one of them ended up like, um, unaliving my baby and beating up Diana. Um, Davis is trying to stall and basically says, let me call in a favor and I'll get back with you. He gets a text from Noma saying, I need you ASAP. Ugh. We finally see Richard Tate, Councilman Richard Tate. He's viewing uh, Kamal's body that's in the morgue right now. And he's talking with, after he kisses him, um, he goes out and talks with Carter. Um, they try to, he tries to, Carter, tries to feel compassion for Tate and to what happened um, because his wife got gunned down by uh, dealers. So then Richard was like, so you understand what someone needs to pay. And Carter was like, you know, it's under investigation right now. And Rashard said, F all that noise. Uh, I need to know who actually did this. You, and then Carter was like, we have some leads. We think it's something, but I will get back to you on that. Because he said, look, um, I'll either talk to you about what's going on or I'm going to talk to the press. But somebody's going down for this. Um, he says that he thinks it was a retaliation of Russians that killed, uh, that unalived Kamal. Um, and Richard said, hey, I can give you every resource. <laughs> um, and I want to be the first call whenever you do catch the guy that killed my brother. Of course, all this time, Carter's looking very guilty, not to Richard, but you know that this isn't really on his, sitting on his conscience well. I don't know what's, how to make Michael Ely's character because it's quite odd. He's very, one minute you think that he's kind of psycho. Maybe he got something wrong, probably something traumatic is happening that's being relived in his head concerning his wife. But then you see that he's conflicted because he knows he unalived Kamal. I just don't understand the character whatsoever. And it was brought up online about, okay, didn't he come on here to try to avenge his wife's death that he said Ghost did? He's totally avoided Tariq. So it's kind of odd that now the Tahadas is his target. Um, Davis, he goes to no no Nomas. Um, he tells her that to rekindle the whole um, Zion situation and it may take a while to get a new connect. Um, Noma says, that's time that I don't have. Um, 
Also, David says, you know, that contract that she needs for American government is contingent on U.S. Citizen, citizenship. And he suggests that she gets some, someone to, that is a U.S. citizen to have at least ma majority stake over her company in order for any of this to go through. And then she says, what do you think? It's going to be you? <laughs> uh, no, you're actually in cahoots with Tariq representing him as far as a drug dealer, da 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 All David says, you know, you better consider something if you want something to happen for you here in the U.S. Honestly, I don't even understand why Noma's here anymore. She's not the real threat anymore. They got rid of her right hand and it's just like, okay, there's nothing really to fear with you. All right, so Tariq, um, he comes back to the dorm room. Brayden is coming up off of his high. <laughs> um, he, while Brayden's talking to him, not really paying any attention, like, how are you, what's going on, da 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 He gets his gun and then he tells him about what the dirty cop did to Diana. Um, Brayden was like, look, we'll figure this out together. Don't need to go in and kill a cop, blah, 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 blah. Stockley, who is a part of the band that where they go to all these concerts and sell the drugs. They figured out what's going on and says, Tariq and Brayden, you're out. You can't do this, da 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 da. Um, you've just been using us to, to sell our shows, da 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 Tariq says that nothing's gonna change just because you found out about it, everything. And Stokely was still challenging him, so Tariq got into a little tussle, Brayden broke it up, blah, 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 blah. Uh, before, oh, then Stockley leaves. Brayden tells Tariq, you know, before you go do what you want to do as far as unaliving a cop, go talk to someone if I'm not someone that you can rely on to give you sound advice. And he does that, and we'll get into that a little bit later. So, Carter, Nico, and Felicia, these are the Dirty Task Force. They talk, and they're talking about uh, Kamal. Um, Nico and Felicia trying to figure out who would have killed him, da 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 But it's a good thing that he is gone because of how noble he wanted to be uh, within um, the task force. And now I have better understanding as to why they were treating Kamal the way that they were, because they were dirty cops, you know, and he would have got in the way as to what they were doing. <laughs> so I get it now and why they were treating him like he was a nobody. Um, Carter says that he believes it's, it's a Russian and we need to smoke out the Russians. Um, he goes to his office and Nico travels after him. He says, you know, we have another bird that's inside of the prison and he's ready to sing. But he also has an inside man in there uh, that has a proposal as far as how to getting rid of this bird, meaning Roman and Drew being the, the inside guy. So Drew and Roman, they square off in prison and it looks like Roman is ready to kill Drew. The police break it, the guards break it up and all that good stuff. Uh, the next situation, Kane comes in, Noma's in her robe and Davis and Noma are talking and you can tell that it's very suggestive that Noma and Davis did something before Kane came up in there. And Kane was like, you hitting with Davis? Smashing with Davis. And she said, I don't have to explain anything to my employees. Kane goes off and says, how are you going to just call me a, uh, an employee? I've been down with you since you first landed into the U.S. He also says that Effie wants out. And she says, no. <laughs> um... Noma also asked, you know, what have you done for me lately? And because Noma's under, well, Kane is saying, look, I've been here. I've been by your side and holding you down all of this time. But for some reason, you want to trust Davis and Tariq? And she said, they're at least doing something for me. What have you done for me lately? If you remember when he was questioning Monet about why are you letting Tariq in here like this? And Monet had the same similar response. And what happened before? Where am I at? Where am I at? Where am I at? Noma at this point says, don't come back until you find out who's been tipping off the police concerning me. All right, so Diana and Monet. Diana's at the hospital. Monet is like, how are we going to unalive this beat? <laughs> Monet said, look, let me handle all this, da 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 da. Um, Monet was like, you know, it's family first. Monet said, or Diana was like, it's family first. And she was like, let me go to Carter. And Diana was like, look, I really need to avenge this, this the, the death of my baby. <laughs> um, oh, she does go to Carter. Or does he? Oh, no, Monet at this point just is telling Diana, says, you know, Carter's going to have to give up Felicia or he'll be buried right next to her. Blah, 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 blah. Tariq, he goes and visits Tasha and he also sees Yaz. Uh, after he visits with Yaz in her room, Tasha says, something's up. Tell me what's wrong. And 
he basically just tells the world about uh, Diana having her baby or was pregnant with her baby and then a dirty cop um, beat her ass and all of that. And then Tasha tried to explain what's really going on um, because he's trying to take care of everything and Diana was like, oh, Tasha was like, you got to understand where Diana's coming from. She's mad at the world right now and she doesn't want you to help her. Um, but I also consider that that child, that child was hope to you as far as getting out of the game. Um, I'm not saying for you to let it go, but killing a cop is not going to do right towards you, you know? Um, whatever that family does, make sure it does not come back on you. And then she gets into, you know, we need to do a little bit better. <laughs> you need to do a little bit better than with your parents because he did say something about, um, well, you know that you sent out that hit that basically that put uh, Monet in the hospital. And she said, that B don't know <laughs> that I did that. But anyways, do better than us. And still the focus is to get back to us. If you do this, you will not get back to us. Uh, Monet goes to Carter and tells him what happened, da 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 and David says, I didn't know, blah, 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 blah. And Monet's ready to put a bullet in her. And David's basically, I mean, Carter says, F off, I'll handle Felicia. Uh, Monet texts Diana and says, Carter is in no help. I'm gonna go to Davis for help, for info. Diana at home said, F Carter, Drew calls. And then they catch up and all that. And she says, you know, I'm going to do something to this woman. She's gotta go. And Drew says, no, I'm gonna be home soon. Let me take care of everything, da, 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 da. <laughs> Diana's not hearing it. She goes to grab Monet's gun and says that that bee is mine. And she leaves up out of the house. Kane goes to Effie and is trying to ask Effie, do you know who would have tipped off the police? You think the Russians? Effie said, H no, there's no way. Um, Kane says, do you think you, is, that you could find out? And she said, you know, I need a cop laptop and uh, so I can get into the database. They go over to Brayden's room. Brayden is now sniffing something and they walk in and I see that. Kane says, wipe your nose. I don't know how they stay like 10 steps ahead of Brayden. Anyways, they ask for a favor, and Brayden's like, why would I help somebody that done effed us over? And Kane said, what do we have to do? What do you need from us? And he says, you know, I want Stansbury back in all the Ivy League school. Effie said, it's done. Because Effie really wants out of this, and she's ready to, to give it all away. Da -da 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 -da. Um, Carter sets up a ploy to try to kill some of the Russians, and whom he has tagged and targeted as the guy that um, offed Come on. And Nico's like, are you sure that this is the person? And he's like, yeah, I think this is the one. Um, Braden, Effie, and Kane, they go over to this cop's home. The wife is there. They already know that they have children. Braden sets up that he's hurt. Effie's his spokesperson. Like, can we get a bandage and all that? First, the wife was hesitant on letting them in the home, but then he's um, ready to faint and all that good stuff. So she patches him up. Effie's got blood all over herself. She goes to the bathroom, she turns on the water and, and shuts the door. She goes in and finds the computer database and she steals all the, she's trying to t steal all of uh, the data that's on there for the cops or whatever. The woman gets kind of suspicious like, oh, hasn't she been in there a little bit too long? Let me go check on her. She's knocking on the door. So then she, uh, Effie goes and texts um, Kane and says, now. <laughs> Kane goes out, comes to the door, he's knocks, he's in this cop uniform and he's like, he's He's looking for Brayden and um, Effie. He doesn't say it that way. So they talk for a few minutes, Brayden and Effie. Effie gets the information that she needs and then they both leave, or the, all three of them leave and nobody is the wiser <laughs> as to what Effie did. Of course, Kane had his crack about, uh, come on, Caucasian boy, man. I think he said Caucasian boy. I don't know. Kane has kind of been the comedic relief. I'll say that much. I think I've started liking Kane and I have not liked him because he was just such a hater of Tariq for so long. So I was like, what up? Um, Drew, with the help of some guard, ends up killing Roman. Um, Diana goes over to Felicia and, and beats the out of her and ends up smashing her head with some type of skillet or whatever and killed her. I said, oh my God, okay. <laughs> um, Carter, oh, Carter goes back to the morgue with tate and says that we got him tate spits on that dude and carter's getting this text about we need to talk about uh text uh, the roman problem has been solved we need to talk about diana 
So, Tate says, you know, I'm indebted to you, and if there's anything that you need, my doors are always open to you. That's gonna kick you in the butt later on, Richard. <laughs> I would not have said that to him, of all people. All right, so, Kane and Effie are talking. I think Effie's at his penthouse. Um, she didn't find a name as far as who's leaking information to the police, but she has everyone that's on the, the task force. Kane is looking at everybody on there, and she find, he finds the name Felicia. So he realizes that Felicia is a dirty cop. Um, he says he's got to go to Noma right now and give that information. And Effie said, you know, I can stay here. And he was like, sure. She thanks him for doing something without an agenda. And that means a lot to her. He kisses her on the forehead. So I guess that was some type of reassurance. I guess he still has feelings for her. She has feelings for him. Okay, whatever. Um, Drew gets out of prison. Talks with Carter. Drew wants to negotiate, like, look, I did all this for you, blah, 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 blah. And Carter says, you are in no condition to make any demands. I need you, I need your word that you won't retaliate or be a problem. Drew gets his phone back and he's looking at all the missed calls and messages that he's getting from Monet. And he talks about Diana. At this point, Monet has found out that Diana went to handle things with Alicia. Then we just cut the scene. Tariq calls, I mean, Diana calls Tariq after she does do what she do to Felicia. Tariq comes, they talk, you know, I don't know what I'm gonna do, I need your help. Felicia has a son that's been asleep upstairs. He comes down, he starts coming downstairs, or he, he's at least at the top of the stairs, and they talk to them and say that I'm officer of this, I'm officer of that. Um, your mom had to work an extra shift, da 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 da, da. And, but we're here to help. Do you want me, us to read you a bedtime story for you to go back to sleep? And he said, yeah, so we'll be right up there. Um, Kane goes to Noma. And Noma's still asking, thank you for the information, this is all good. But now Noma knows that Carter and all them are dirty cops. Well, who put me on to the police? He says he doesn't know, but I'm gonna stay on it. Um, and Noma was like, you're still hanging around, so what else do you have for me? Kane says, marry me, so that you can get your uh, citizenship. He says he knows that with you being with um, the dude from two seasons ago, um, was just for appearance and all that. So all you want from me is business, Noma says. And he says, no, I want a real partnership. Effie is texting while they're doing whatever. Noma all of a sudden wants to kiss him and all this good stuff. None of this stuff feels real. It feels so forced to me. I, I know I don't like to be negative, but I just, I'm not feeling this season whatsoever. So Effie texts, you know, how did it go? Are you on your way? He never responds. So basically they go on and hunch. In the meantime, Effie's back at the place. She's ready to leave at from Kane's place. She gets a call from her mom. We don't know what happened or what what not, but obviously it was important. Um, Diana Tariq, Diana has put down the child, um, and Diana talks about, you know, I thought doing this was supposed to make me feel, I don't know. So Tariq says, you know, I did this to a dirty cop that um, unalived my twin sister. So. What this person did is just, um, Felicia did, they took your heart, but left you alive. Um, Tariq says, you know, I apologize for not being there for you, but I'm here for you now, da 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 da. But Monet comes in and says, what did you do? Um, she said, "Never mind, Diana, I'll take care of all this. Give me the gun, da 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 da. All of a sudden, Drew shows up and Monet says, oh, you're, you're all out and all this good stuff. I need you to help me with this body. Next thing you know, Carter appears from behind him. Carter done figured out that Monet had been lying about the Russians. It was all about Noma. He didn't figure it out, Drew told him. He gave up Noma to plug. And he said, you know, right now, because he's seen Felicia's body there and all that, where's her son? And they said, he's upstairs, he's taken care of, he's good. At this point, Carter is upset and he says, all of you are gonna go down for this. And then Trick was like, if we don't do what? Uh, he says, I need you to give me the leverage. I need to go after Noma you all are a part of this. And then everyone leaves. That was the end of it. Um, as I said before, I just, I'm not feeling the season. I don't understand where this is all going and now we're ready to take down Noma, which Noma feels very insignificant at this point anyways. But it's like, okay, what's going on? Like, none of it makes sense to me. Um, I don't understand why Mikey, Michael Ely's here. As I already said before, you were, your target was Tariq and now the Tahadas are your target. 
now Tariq has been brought into this whole situation because at the end he was like, welcome to the team, to Tariq. And Tariq looks at him like, hmm, okay. <laughs> but how are you guys feeling about this season? I just don't know. Maybe I feel some type of way because I know that the show is ending. I don't know. But it just feels so, ugh. like, it, feel, it feels like, here you go. Like, that's what the writers did. I don't know. But tell me your thoughts below. That's all I do have. I appreciate everyone for coming to my channel. Uh, please like this video and also subscribe to my channel. And until the next one, peace.